Hello Coloma Convent School, my name is Jade. I'm going to talk to you today all about the NCS Autumn 2020 programme. Before I do that, I just want to say thank you to Miss Anton for making this possible and also thanks to all of you in advance for listening. I would have loved to have been at the school in person today, but I'm still happy to do this kind of virtual assembly. Who here has ever been told that they couldn't do something because you weren't old enough or for whatever other reason? Well, that's not going to happen in this presentation. This is all about focusing on the things that you can do and not the things you can't. It's turning those no we can't into no we can't. And here's a video to show you what I mean. If you are under 18, you cannot watch the following. No, actually, we can't. Oh no, you just can't grow up. No, we can. In other news, teens can't change anything. <laughs> no, we can't. Oh, let it! Oh, he can't get this job yet. No. I think you find the camp. Boy, you can't stand there. No, we can't. We're just waiting for our mate Trevor. Parking? You can't even get out of bed. No, we can. Shirts? They just can't. No, we can. You can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. No. You can. You can't write a book. No. You can. You can't wear that. No, we totally can. And I'm going to show you how. No, we can. No, we can. No, we can. Search NCS for the summer that turns no, you can't into no, we can. This autumn is about focusing on all those things that we can do. This summer was not just hard for you or me, but for everyone due to extra restrictions. So now that we have a little bit more freedom, why not make the most of it and do something fun this autumn? The Autumn 2020 programme takes place in October half term. It's full of outdoor activities, really great life skill workshops, and to top it off, a social action project in Croydon. The week starts with an outdoor activity day. So this will be something like Go Ape or an activity centre around your area. And you might do things like climbing or abseiling and loads of great activities. It's a good chance to try something new and have some fun after a bit of a stressful year. It's also a really good way to meet your team. After the outdoor activity part of the program, you'll go on to the life skill workshops. These are really fun to get involved in and also a great way to start making um, friendships with your teams, but also they are very useful. You might be doing things like an enterprise day, learning how to create and uh, present a business model. You might be doing something like money management or even a CV writing workshop or even a public speaking skills workshop, which is really fun, but also, like I said, really useful. It all comes to an end with the social action project. The social action project is all about making a difference in your area. There's been loads of great campaigns that have happened even this summer. In Croydon, there were a group who worked with Lives Not Knives and they were campaigning against knife crime, raising awareness in the streets of Croydon and handing out t-shirts and things like that. There was also another group in London who worked and created Don't Zap The Zip, who campaigned against stopping the little oyster cards that you guys have. You can even follow them on Instagram and sign the petition if you want to. All these projects are great. They're really fun to get involved in. But a key thing here is that they are something that you can talk about in your personal statements and in those job applications. They're the things that you can write and talk about that are going to make you stand out from all those other applicants just a little bit more. How much is the programme? Well, it's actually free. 
You don't have to pay for the Autumn 2020 programme, which is obviously great news. Also, if you've done Summer 2020 or you want to do Summer 2021 next year with NCS, that is fine. The Autumn um, programme doesn't exclude you from that. You can do both as long as you're age 16 to 17 next year. The dates of the Autumn 2020 NCS programme are in the October half term, the 26th of October to the 1st of November. The Social Action Project will take place in another weekend in November, which you'll find out when you sign up. Because there's only one date to choose from for the Autumn programme, it means that there's only one programme in Croydon or Lambeth in each area. That means that there's very limited spaces. Even if we get overwhelming interest and add more, they are still limited. So please act quickly if you are interested because I don't want you to miss out. How do you sign up? Well, there are two ways to sign up to the NCS programme. The first way is to go onto wearenCS.com and sign up on the website. The second way is much more direct and you can start it right now. On the screen, there is a QR code. If you scan that QR code, it takes you directly to the first page of the sign up. What I'm gonna let your teacher do is pause the video here so that anyone who's interested and doesn't wanna miss out on their space can start that first part of the sign up now. I'll just give you a couple of minutes to do that. So hopefully if you've had time, your teacher has paused the video and loads of you have started signing up already. If you haven't, that's okay. Just do it at the first um, opportunity that you get today and try and lock in that space, either with this QR code or online. It's really important to note that when you do sign up, your parent or guardian will be sent a medical form via a link in their email. It's really important that they get that done as soon as possible because without that, you're not fully signed up and you might miss out on your place because as I said, they are very limited. So I hope you guys really think about this and you know, it's one of the only face-to-face -face opportunities that you'll have to volunteer, do workshops and kind of boost yourselves for those personal statements this year. So it's really useful. Um, whatever you're interested in, it's so varied that you can find something you enjoy. So if you're really confident and you wanna make new friends, you'll really like the program. If you're shy like me, like I was at school, uh, it's a good way to boost your social skills. And if you're really creative or business minded, you can use all those skills in the workshops and on the social action project. With all that said, I hope you decide to come on the NCS Autumn Programme this year and thank you so much for listening. I'm going to leave you with an NCS video uh, called Life After Lockdown. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, but thanks again for listening. Goodbye. When the time comes again to step out freely into the world All my friends who held me down, you'll be the first I holler at to link up with We'll be face to face again to say things we couldn't say behind a screen I've made a list of all the places we said we'll visit Let's see how far our legs take us to that lake Those woods All that precious greenery we said will help protect in our fight for a better climate. What can phase us? When we're told, no, you can't, we say, no, we can. Even when we're back at school, we'll have a better time since we spent so many days indoors. Becoming our own teachers. Picking up new skills. Learning more about who we are as individuals. As siblings as a family. From now on, 
every person in my neighbourhood is my cousin. Only family stick together through tough times, like my community did. Shout out to those who lived a life locked down. Shout out to the frontliners. Shout out to those who stood for equality. Shout out to those fueled with hope and joy. And, and now, now together, together we're, we're ready, ready to rebuild, rebuild the world. world. As we approach the end of lockdown, I think we can all agree that it's been very difficult, but we can also agree that we have all learned very important things over this period of time. I hope that we all remember, despite being far apart, we all came together to form one big community. The fact that this has taken away some things that we can't get back, I'd like to think that would make us appreciate everything a bit more. Uh, after the lockdown, I'm going to look to get to my best friend's house and take in a really nice view of the city and I really hope the world is a more united place after it. We're all human and in this together, so I hope the world will never be the same but better.